Malcolm Training Tutorials Installation Installing Malcolm on Microsoft Windows using the Windows subsystem for Linux and Docker. In this video, you will learn how to install Docker natively inside a WSL Linux distribution. In order for Windows to be able to run Docker, you need to enable a set of Windows features that allows you to run Linux applications inside of Windows. This is called the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL. Before we start, a quick note on minimum system requirements. If you try to install Malcolm without adequate resources, it will run poorly or crash the machine. Malcolm's minimum system requirements are 16 GB of RAM and 8 CPU cores. However, for an optimal experience, it is recommended to install Malcolm on a system with 32 GB or more of RAM and 16 or more CPU cores. Users will want as much storage space as possible, preferably solid-state storage, as the amount of PCAP data the system can analyze and archive will be limited by available storage. To install Docker natively inside a WSL Linux distribution, first, make sure your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system is up to date with the current Windows cumulative update. Open PowerShell or Windows command prompt in administrator mode by right-clicking the icon in the Start menu and selecting Run as administrator. Enter the command WSL, install and wait for the installation to finish. Reboot the system. Upon rebooting, the Linux terminal will open automatically with installing. This may take a few minutes. Wait for this process to complete. As prompted, Create a default Unix user account by providing a username and password. Install Docker by running curl fssl https colon slash slash get.docker.com dash o get dash docker.sh followed by sudo sh get dash docker.sh. Add the user account you just created to the Docker group by running sudo usermod dash a dash g docker username, replacing username with the username you created before. Verify Docker and Docker Compose are correctly installed by running Docker, version, and Docker Compose version. If running Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, to ensure container networking works correctly, run sudo update alternatives, dash dash config, IP tables, and select the option for IP tables legacy. Restart WSL by rebooting the system. Upon rebooting, open the start menu and select the name of the Linux distribution you installed. Ubuntu is the default name. That wraps up installing Docker natively inside a WSL Linux distribution. Check out the description section for links to the Malcolm GitHub site, a Malcolm discussion forum, and more.